following table chart shows the discount offered in different time slot on different bill amount on Wednesday in KFC. So he's talking about discount offered in different time slots on different bill amounts on Wednesday in KFC. So too many conditions. Yeah. So basically there are different time slots from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. is one slot. 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. is the second slot. 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. is the third slot. If your bill is up to 500 rupees, if your order amount is up to 500 rupees, you will get 10% discount. If you buy it on in between 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. You will get 20% discount on the same order amount if it is between 4 to 7 p.m. And 30% discount if it is from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. So I think easy data to follow, right? Then the next range is 501 rupees to 1500 rupees. Then 1501 to 3000 rupees. And then above 3000 rupees. Like, like for example, let's let's take some uh, value here, right? Like, like let's say the bill amount is 450. For example, right? This is an example. Let's say here the bill amount is 700. And I'm just taking some simple values so that I can explain you how to calculate the discount for different time slots. And, and in the third case, let's say the bill amount is uh, 2,200 uh, and above 3,000. Let's say it is uh, 4,600. Yeah. Now, how much will be the discount? If the bill amount is 450 and you have ordered between 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., you will get 10 percentage. 10 percent of 450 is 45. 20 percent of 450 is 90. 30 percent of 450 is 135. So you should be very quick in playing with these numbers. Are you able to follow? Yeah. Then 501 to 50. I mean, we have taken the example as 700, right? What is 15% of 700? It will be 105 rupees. 70 plus 35. 25% of 700, 140 plus uh, 35, right? 175 rupees. Right? Here also it is 25%, so 175 rupees. Same discount. From 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., the discount remains the same. You can take it. 15% is 10 plus 5%. 10% is 70, 5% is 35. 25% is 20% plus 5%. So 140 plus 35, 175. 175. Now, 2200. 12.5%. 12 what is 12.5%? 10% is 220. 2.5% 2 will be 1 fourth of 220, which is 55. So 275 rupees. 30%. 660 rupees. 660 rupees. 4,600. What is the 40? What is 40% 40 of 4,600? 460 into 4. So 1,600 plus 240, 1,840. 50%, 2,300. 60% discount, 2,300 plus 460, 2,760. So you know whatever be the value, you should be very quick in uh, uh, you know getting the discount. There. These are all examples. I mean assumptions. Don't get confused as to how I got 2,200, how I got 4,600, and so on. I'm just taking some example to explain you how to calculate the discount. Okay, let's now move to the questions here. So the first question on your screen here. So same data there. Look at the question. If Sheena and Raima goes to KFC at 3 p.m. and their bill amount was 1140, then what they need to pay? Very simple. See, they are going to KFC at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. is in this slot, right? In this slot. 3 p.m. is this slot. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It comes in the first slot. Their bill, bill amount is 1140. 1140 is this range. 501 to 1500. So what should they get? They should get 15% discount. So how much will they pay? They'll pay only 85%. If they are getting 15% discount, they'll pay only 85%. So uh, 1140 minus 15%. Answer should be 1140 minus 15% of 1140. Or it can be directly taken as 85% of 1140. But I'm sure finding out 85% of 1140 is as similar as you know 1140 minus 15% and this would be easier in my view 15% of 1140 is easier and then subtract that what is 15% of 1140 10% is 114 5% will be 57 114 plus 57 will be 164 171 so 1140 minus 171 you're getting it 10% see always the base is 1140 here right so 10% is you should, be, you should be doing this mentally, right? 10% is 114, which implies 5% will be half of 10%. So half of 114 is 57. So total 15% is how much? 110 plus 50, 160. 4 plus 7, 11, 171. So 1140 minus 171. So it's like 1000 minus 31. 969 should be the answer in my view. 969, is it there? Oh, it's not there in the options. I think 969 should be the answer. It's not there in the options. 969. So Ayushi, I think options are not correct. Did you all get 969? 969 should be the answer. Sixth option. 
correct answer i mean you cannot do this in the exam but anyway the idea is you know this is how you solve it maybe if he's asking us to find out an approximate answer we should go for 960 because this is closest approximately this is the closest value okay let me present the next question if ram goes to kfc at 6 pm and his total bill without discount was 2040 then find the net discount percent approximately but if ram goes to kfc at 6 pm kfc at 6 pm 6 pm is this lot and his total bill without discount was 2040 without discount without discount the bill is 2040 in this range then find the net discount percent approximately net discount percent is what 30 percent only no what is the confusion here what's your view answer this question I don't know what is he trying to ask us. Simple question. Ram goes to KFC at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. is in this slot. Total bill is without, without discount. Without discount means total order is this much. 2040 which is in this range. Find the net discount percent approximately. Net discount 30 percent. 30 percent of whatever amount. But since he's asking you percentage, it should be 30 only. Yeah. Ayushi, you have to throw some light. Is there any error in the question or is it as it is? Answer should be option two in my view. I mean, this is a zero seconds question, right? You have to just pick up the value from the table and mark the answer. Let's, let's go to the next one. Uh, billing amount of Rajesh at 9 p.m. 9 p.m. is this lot. Was 3775. If an GST of 12% is applicable on discounted bill, find the amount Rajesh needs to pay. Right? So basically he says the billing amount, billing amount means his order amount is 3775. 3775 is above 3000, right? Above 3000. So uh, you have to look at this discount percentage. So billing amount of Rajesh at 9 p.m. was 3775. If a GST of 12% is applicable on discounted bill, then find the amount Rajesh needs to pay. So basically the total order value of Rajesh is 3775. But on that he's going to get a discount of 60 percentage. So reduce 3775 by 60%, then increase the result by 12% because there is a GST of 12%. You are getting it? So 3775 minus 60 percentage. You will get some value here, x. On that x, you add 12 percentage. Final answer will be x plus 12 percentage. I mean, this is what you need to do. So two steps. First discounted by 60 percentage and then increase the uh, value by 12 percentage to get the final answer. That's one way or you can use the concept of effective percentage. If you do not want to do this, you can use the concept of eff effective percentage. Yeah, let, let's let's try this method first. Let, let's complete the solution using this method. So what will be x? 3775 minus 60 percentage. So if you have to reduce by 60 percentage, means you have to take only 40 percentage. So x will be 40 percent of 3775. Yes or no? 40% of 3775. Try to find this. Try to solve this. 40% of 3775. How much is that? You understand? Instead of calculating 60% discount, let's directly take 40% of 3775. So 40% of 3000 is 1200. 40% of 700 will be 280, which is overall making it 1480. And 40% of 75 will be 30. 7.5 into 4, 30. So I think uh, 1200 plus 280, 1480, 1480 plus uh, 30. So no, 1480 plus 40% uh, of 75 is 30, right? So 1510, 1510 plus 12 percentage. 12 percentage, yeah, so this will be 1510 plus 12 percentage of 1510. What is 12% of 1510? 12% 12 is 10% plus 2%. So 1510 plus uh, 151 plus 30.2. I think none of this is an answer, right? I mean, it will be in the range of 1800. None of the options are there in the range of 1800. Yeah, none of the options are there in the range of 1800. So option 5, none of this is the answer. Option 5, none of this would be the answer. Remember, if you are thinking that you will take 52% directly, 52% of this one, then you are wrong. You, you get me? 52% of that is going to be the wrong answer because 
you just cannot add or subtract percentage remember 60 percentage is on the value of 3775 you're getting it 12 percentage is on the value of x both are not on the same value so you cannot say minus 60 plus 12 is minus 48 so final answer should be 52 percentage of 3775 that's not the way you do it anyway this is one method the other method like i said is effective percentage so how do you solve using effective percentage effective percentage what happens effective percentage a plus b plus ab by 100 so one percentage is uh minus 60 the other percentage is plus 12 so minus 60 plus 12 plus minus 60 into 12 by 100 overall percentage that you have to consider on 3775 do that and you'll get the answer so minus 60 plus 12 is anyway minus 48 how much is this this is like 3 by 5 right 3 into 12 36 36 by 5 is 7.2 minus 7.2 you're getting it 3 into 12, 36, 36 by 5 is minus 7.2. So minus 60 plus 12 is minus 48. Minus 48 minus 7.2 is minus 55.2. So basically, you have to reduce 3775 by 55.2 percentage to get the required answer. Effective of 60 percentage discount and 12 percent tax is going to be 55.2 percentage. So your final answer will be, final answer, I mean, if you want to go by this method, final answer is going to be 3 what is that value 3775 minus 55.2 percentage of 3775 sorry 37 yeah 3775 do this calculation you get the answer anyway this is like 55 i mean more than 50 percentage reduction right so it should be less than less than 1800 none of the options are less than 1800 here i mean it should be less than 1900 none of the options are less than 1900 yeah so option 5 none of this can be directly taken as the answer you don't really have to do the full calculation. I mean, if you go step by step, maybe you'll have to do full calculation. But otherwise, here also full calculation is not needed. 12 percentage will be approximately, uh, you know, like, like 180 here, right? So 1500 plus 180 is no way close to option 1, option 2, option 3, and option 4. Hence, option 5 is the answer. And even if you go by effective percentage concept, see, this is one method. And this is the other method. Even if you go by the effective percentage concept, you know that you have to reduce overall by 55 percentage. Okay. So that's about uh, this particular one. Let's let's move to the next question. Here's the next one. If Sachin has to consume a food worth 1800, then his bill at 8 p.m. will be approximately what percent of his bill at 6 p.m.? Now this is interesting. This question is interesting. Try this. Sachin has to consume a food worth 1800. 1800 is what range? This range. 1500 to 3000 range. Then his bill at 8 p.m. What will be his bill at 8 p.m.? 8 p.m. means this slot is approximately what percent of his bill at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. is this slot. So what will be the bill at 8 p.m.? Bill at 8 p.m. What will be the bill at 8 p.m.? See at 8 p.m. I'll get a 30 percent discount, which means it will be 70 percent of 1800. 70 percent of 1800 is 1800 minus 540, which is 1260. What is the bill at, uh, what is the time? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. He is getting a discount of 30 percent. Oh, I wasted my time. No need. Bill at uh, this also is wrong. None of the options. Right? 100 percent. The answer should be 100 percent because bill at 6 p.m. also will be same 30 percent discount. That means 70 percent of. Am I taking the correct slot? 8 p.m. He said right. 8 p.m. is in this slot. 6 p.m. is in this slot. Yeah. So 70 percent of 1800 which is also same 1260 you don't need to i mean you don't have to do this by i mean you should have looked at this itself and said the answer is 100 percent the answer to this should be 100 percentage approximately 97 percentage okay he has used the word approximately so 97 percentage yeah i think the best answer here is 97 percentage I, i'll tell you what happens bill at 8 pm comes out to be 70 percent of 1800 yeah Bill at 6 p.m. also comes out to be 70% of 1800, which is 1260. Now he's saying his bill at 8 p.m. 1260 is approximately what percent of bill at 6 p.m.? So 1260 is what percent of 1260? 1260 by 1260 into 100. X is what percent of Y? X by Y into 100. It should be 100%. I mean, the moment you look at 30% here and 30% here, you should say 100%. But then since he has used the word approximately, I think we should go for 97%. Option 4 will be the correct answer. It's not none of this. It's not none of this. I mean, none of this is not there at all. Option 4, 97% is the closest one. Yeah. Take the next one. If Nita goes to KFC at 8.30, 8.30 is this slot. 
paid a total bill of 1730 after discount then find her bill without discount uh, yeah so i think 1730 meaning it will be in the in this range right 1500 to 300 uh, 3000 so which means she would have got a discount of 30 percentage she paid 1730 after discount see if you are getting a discount of 30 percentage how much will you pay you will pay only 70 percentage of the value so that 70 percent is equal to 1730 find her bill without discount without discount will be 100 percentage that is equal to what this is after discount with the discount 70 percentage without discount 100 percentage without discount 100 percent value with discount because she has got a 30 percent discount she has to pay only 70 percent that 70 percent is equivalent to 1730 100 percent is equal to what cross multiply so this will be equal to 100 into 1730 by 70 so i think this is 1400 plus uh, 330 right 1400 plus 330 is approximately 25 times or oh, yeah 25 times so 25 into 100 2500 approximately 2500 but what is he asking us to find, find our bill without discount so maybe you'll have to do a precise calculation uh, none of the options will satisfy none of the options will satisfy because it will be very close to 2500 yeah all these are wrong option 5 is the answer because i know it is approximately 2500 slightly less than that slightly less than that because 1730 by 70 is like 173 by 7 so 140 plus 33 right approximately 25 times 25 into 100 is 2500 no option is close so option 5 none of this is the answer 